Any questions? No. Yes, many. Hundreds. Thank you very much. Go, go, go! Let's move! This is about becoming legends. What are you doing? I'm warming up my instrument. When uh, did we first meet? Did we first meet in New Mexico? I think so. Yeah, we first met on the day when we shot the uh, lock shop, lock shop yeah. Se sequence. Yeah. yeah. So the first time I met him was the first day I said, hey, nice to meet you. Here's uh, five pages of dialogue. Uh, it'd be great if you um, don't fuck it up and uh, give me the camera. Thank you. Let's go. Action. Something like that. Yeah, but, but 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 to be honest, it was like I will never forget that because they picked me up. Uh, my pickup time on that day was like 10, 11 in the morning, and you know, at three in the afternoon, I thought, okay, I was waiting, and at four, at, I, I, because I never met Zach before, and we had this huge scene, and and then at four or five in the afternoon, they said, okay, go, they're ready now. They just, <laughs> and I was so nervous, and then when I uh, uh, came to the set, they said, okay, we have a, a, around like one and a half, two hours because we have to wrap. And I will never forget that because they had this huge day and then I met Zach for the first time. And that was like, my heart was racing like boop, 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 like really, I, was, I will never forget that. And then after Zach, behind Zach, there was Dave Batista, and I was like, oh my God, it's, it's, I cannot, oh, don't fuck it up. Don't, don't fuck it up big time. But that was the first time, yeah, we met. Yeah, we had shot all this stuff that day. We had been like all over the place. I'm like, oh, we're gonna do the lock shop scene today. What? Okay, that sounds great. <laughs> And then we got in it, like, you know, we get in there and, um, and Matias just crushed it. So I was like, oh, this is going to be, and, you know, it's funny because like, you don't think about, um, when you make a movie, um, you know, when you watch a movie, I always say, one of the things you don't think about when you watch a movie was that you have your favorite scene in a movie, right? Like whatever scene is the favorite, you don't realize that because it's kind of immortalized in the moment, you don't think like, oh, that was a Thursday they shot that scene in the afternoon. They've been doing a bunch of stuff and then they went to this other place and they just shot that scene. And you don't, you forget that like, oh yeah, they were just all standing around and then they decided to film it and whatever. And it was just, you know, and then this kind of alchemy magic thing happens. And that's kind of, um, you know, what I felt like in, you know, when Matias, and, and frankly, you know, that scene is, has much of the mythology and origins of what came to be Army of uh, Thieves. So it's a really, um, it's really a kind of, you know, philosophically and kind of beautiful um, uh, cyclical thing that it, the first scene we shoot really is the origins of the entire thing. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, it literally, um, we were talking about, um, you know, Shay and I were talking about, uh, and I was talking with my friend Adam Foreman, who's like this genius, and we were all talking about, okay, I go, I really want to do something cool with the safes, because I think, you know, um, our character, who's the safe cracker, is German, and like, how do we connect him to the thing? And then I was like, you know, I, I was like, you know, we were talking about, oh, maybe this, maybe like the safes, Maybe one's called the Valkyrie. Maybe one's like, you know, like it was, we started like in that conversation. And then, you know, and by the way, Adam and I had always talked about like, oh, you know, I should do a film of the ring cycle, you know, like, um, uh, you know, a 16 hour long movie, um, whatever. No, I, I mean, it would be. But, uh, and so we started talking about, we'd always like talked about that or that that could inspire a film, you know, based on it. Um, other than Lord of the Rings, um, and so uh, <laughs> and so, uh, it, it was that it was that conversation Adam and I were having, and then that led us. So I go, what if one of the what if the safes, what if it's four safes, and they were all named after different, you know, chapters in, in the Ring Cycle in the opera, and then we were like, oh, that's cool. So there'd be like some weird guy, some weird like German safe 
you know, locksmith who would have made these saves. And then, then it was just a conversation and it was fun. Even on the movie, actually, one of the lenses was named the Valkyrie because we were in the middle of this conversation. And I'm doing this Norse animated um, show for Netflix now anyway. So yes, everything is Valkyries everywhere I look. It's exhausting, but it's fun. My first thought was like I was expecting a zombie movie and it was a heist movie. And I was like, wow. And it was like wonderfully like funny and heartfelt and exciting. And I was like, oh, this is so unexpected and um, in a great, great way. And I, yeah, I was immediately sort of interested in, in, in being involved. And the script was really, really strong from, from the beginning. So that's always just like a good sign, I think. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew before because Matthias and I, we wanted to play um, in a movie since a longer while. So we, we were like, um, I knew that it wasn't going to be a, a zombie movie, but a heist movie. But um, for me, the most interesting thing was to like play a role that I haven't played yet. And um, that he gave me the chance because we wanted to play since a long time in a movie together. So. That was really fun and the story is so beautiful and interesting and the heists and the saves and this whole um, yeah background with the music and stuff which yeah was very fascinating and, and fun and, and um, I'm happy I could be a part of it. I think what really attracted me was that I could play some like more like a tough um nerdy um tech genius and that was something that really inspired me because i mostly have played other roles and not that kind of roles so i was really happy to have the chance to show a different side oh um for me i just immediately was just like gwendolyn is so uh multifaceted she's got had a really interesting backstory she's she's kind of badass like re like like as a person but also like physically she's really really capable but also she has a real humanity and kind of like sensitivity and vulnerability about her that um was very interesting uh, to explore um and yeah i i've always been attracted to women who are brilliant and gwen's brilliant so yeah <laughs> that seems to be a theme in the characters i'm playing so i'm like she's no exception <laughs> i think it's still the same that we uh the same scene we talked about before natalie and the van i feel like yeah. that was the most challenging for me it was really challenging we had a lot of scenes in vans where there's not a lot of space and you know as much as it looks like it on camera there are a lot of other people in the van with and it's like and... it's like a choreography so like a ping pong you talk then i talk then she talks then he talks and, and it's like going back and, forth. and then i move and then everyone's yeah. like it's like this do -si -do around each other and it's like yeah it was challenging but also fun like we had a good we had a good time my favorite challenge i think mine is my favorite scene as much as it's, it was the most challenging and it was like the fight scenes uh, but specifically the one in the prague bank um where i beat up some two very large men um but i did a, i basically we shot that a lot of that on steadicam and i did a i did all of that really uh, myself so the choreography was really really hard and the build up and the preparation is tough and when you're shooting something like that being really specific and accurate with your punches and your kicks and your hits and things is really important to sell it but also the the, as the day goes on um, and the more tired you get, suddenly your your punches aren't as um, accurate and you're, you know, and so suddenly there's like a safety element. So it was really, really challenging, but we it was amazing. And I felt so satisfied and like, and in the movie, I'm just so proud of them. And yeah, so I, I just remember the kind of energy of that day being really exciting. And I kind of think of it like, I felt like I really achieved something that day, so. Nat, you were amazing. Oh, <laughs> I can kick butt, basically. Yes. Just so in case yes. anyone didn't know. So, yeah. <laughs>